Thank you, good evening and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a very special birthday occasion. Actually, I, I've just celebrated a birthday myself. I won't tell you how many. <laughs> uh, so it is my, my very own birthday present uh, to preside here tonight over the celebration of the 60th birthday of His Royal Highness Prince... Charles, you old fool. <laughs> oh, Charles, Prince Charles, Prince Charles. Sorry, 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 I'm sorry. When I, was, when I was very young, every year my parents and I would gather round the television set with a sense of anticipation to watch the Royal Variety Show. And every year, after about 20 minutes, we'd turn to each other and say, this is even worse than last year, isn't it? <laughs> How do they do it? So, tonight, I would like to make an apology uh, on behalf of British show business to you, sir, and to your long-suffering family, too. <laughs> for the atrocities that have been visited upon you in the name of entertainment. Not that tonight's show is any better, frankly, because I've been watching rehearsals. Dreadful, really. <laughs> A lot of young people I've never heard of who aren't very good, I'm afraid, but... Uh, Never forget, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> now, our next act is a bludgeoning young talent. Bludgeoning? <laughs> oh, oh, you know the type. Utterly ruthless, you know. Climb all over you. Give him half a chance. <laughs> Who is this despicable individual? Oh, Michael McIntyre. Oh, he's Scottish. That explains it. So, uh, all the way from the Highlands, let's give a big hand to the wee man from the tenements. Will you please welcome the new Mr. Malcolm McIntosh? Good evening! Oh, how wonderful! What a tremendous evening! You all look so smart in the presence of royalty! Oh, Prince Charles, hi. Hi. So, um, I'm going to pretend you're not here. So... I can't! Hi! Um, so we just got put up in a nice hotel today, uh, just around the corner. You know a nice hotel, because it has a turning down service. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with this, basically, rich people require poor people to come into their room before Betty <laughs> and peel the bed open just a little bit <laughs> and pop a jockey on the pillow. <laughs> Otherwise, they can't get in. They don't know what to do. <laughs> They're just flapping at me, flapping. There's no hook, there's no confectionery. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so you've all got your seats. It's always quite tense, isn't it, when you're in the theatre? Because sometimes you, you, people want to arrive in chronological order, but sometimes you arrive and there are seats left over and you know other people are going to come, so you can't quite relax. And then you think people are coming and they walk past. And then they, when they do arrive, you have the choice. Stand or twizzle. It's a huge moment. <laughs> Some people just arch their back. It doesn't help. They just want to show they've done something, so they just go, OK. <laughs> Will that help on some level? <laughs> Sometimes you get directions to your seat, totally unnecessarily. When you get on an aeroplane, there'll be a stewardess who looks at your ticket and then gives you directions to your seat. You've probably seen planes, right? Long tube things. <laughs> they go from seat one to however long the plane is. I've managed to dress myself and pay for the ticket. <laughs> You think I need you to go 13, straight down there. 42, straight down there. 16, straight down there. Oh, thank God you were here. Last time no one was here. I was in the locker for half an hour. Are you kidding? Sometimes you get taken, taken to a seat. Also, unnecessarily, like in a breakfast buffet, you go to a, like a buffet. Buffet, by the way, is too exciting for British people. You see the buffet, you want to, you just look at it. How can I get all this food in me? <laughs> when you can order, you order one thing. When you see the buffet, I want everything. I want eggs and bacon and ham. I want ham. I want mini cheese. I've never had mini cheese at breakfast. I want muesli. You want everything. But you do get some exercise because you get taken to your seat, right? Somebody will meet you, then walk with you past the buffet, all the way to a seat, sit you down. As soon as you sat down, you remember it's a buffet. You get up immediately <laughs> and go back to the buffet. It's a completely wasted walk. One by one, you see people coming in. <laughs> buffet! <laughs> Sometimes couples can't quite cope with it. They'll come and sit. 
stare at each other for a bit before concluding, let's go to the buffet. <laughs> it's November, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, November's an odd month. People spend the whole of November basically saying, I can't believe it's November. <laughs> I can't believe it's November. Can you believe that it's November? <laughs> well, yes, you see, we've had all the other months. You see how it works? <laughs> if we'd just come out of April, you'd have a point. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why do we live every year the same way and can't come to terms with the effects it has? The clocks go back. It's such a hugely strange night for everybody. You spend the whole of Sunday slightly jet-lagged. Yeah. And you spend the whole of the first week at five o'clock at the window going, look, look how dark it is. It's only five o'clock and look at the results. So December will come, right? December, we're all in December. Christmassy is a huge part of December. Christmassy. Everyone will be discussing this emotion of Christmassy. I don't know what it is about this year. I just don't feel Christmassy. Do you feel Christmassy? I haven't felt this. Tommy should ask that. I was just saying the other day, I don't feel Christmassy. <laughs> At some point in December, there will be an announcement. Today, I felt Christmassy for the first time. <laughs> then when we get to Christmas, we have to get to the New Year, right? Christmas and New Year are separated by six days, between the 25th of December and the 31st. The strangest six days in the whole year. Nobody has a clue who they are. All rules have been suspended. People eat a lot of turkey sandwich. You start putting vegetables into sandwiches. You would never normally do this. <laughs> You're like, I want a turkey sandwich. I want a turkey sandwich. Is there post today? Is the post come today? <laughs> what day is it? Do you know what day it is? I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> I want another turkey sandwich. When did the beans get taken away? <laughs> Should I start my diet? Are the, are the shops open? Have the sales started? <laughs> Can I park here? Can I park here today? <laughs> the post. I think I just heard the post. I want another turkey sandwich. What time is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? I want to watch... <laughs> if somebody said to you in June, do you want to watch Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? You'd be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to the